Hello and welcome to EuroPCR 2024. I'm Chris Cook and I'm delighted to be joined here in the studio with Marty Leon. Welcome. It's great to be here, Chris. Now here we're going to be talking about the pivotal study data from the shortcut dedicated leaflet splitting device. Now there's a lot of buzz about this technique and specifically about this device. So can we start please by you telling us a bit more about the unmet clinical need for leaflet splitting during TABA? So there's no question that bioprosthetic valve failure, either from a surgical valve or in the future, more and more from a transcatheter valve, uh, certainly is gonna require treatment. And more and more we're realizing that coronary access and the risk of coronary obstruction is a significant limitation for doing TAV and TAV or TAV and SAV procedures. So we have been struggling with ways to be able to manage that problem. Currently, electrosurgery with a technique like Basilica is being used, but I would argue somewhat sparingly, it's extremely complex. So a simple, generalizable solution, I think could make a big difference to allow most operators to have access to treating this enlarging patient population. And that's it, right? This population is getting bigger, and we know this problem is coming down the track. In fact, it's already here in many respects. By 2028, we believe that the number of transcatheter valve failures will exceed the number of surgical bioprosthetic valve failures. It's a sobering fact. Yes. Okay, thank you for outlining that. The, the problem is clear. So what did the study study? How was it designed? This was a nicely designed observational prospective study in patients that were at high risk for coronary obstruction due to a variety of anatomic factors, including the location of the coronary arteries and the width of the sinuses and a variety of other factors. So these are the kinds of patients you would want to treat with a leaflet splitting device. This is a mechanical device, which would be very familiar to interventionalists. It's a, it's a retrograde transfemoral device that allows you to mechanically split one or two of the leaflets, depending upon what the needs are of the individual patient. This was a 60 patient, uh, um, as I said, observational study uh, where the device was used uh, in anticipation of immediate treatment with a TAVR after the device was uh, implanted. Uh, so it's a very straightforward design with very understandable endpoints that are both clinical and anatomic endpoints and with follow-up that extends through the first 90 and then 90 days and then six months. Fantastic. We can't wait any longer. Tell us the key results. The results are very, very um, uh, encouraging to us. Uh, these are, again, a high-risk patient population. So there were no major adverse considerations such as Mortality, there were three patients of the 60 who had either transient or in one case more permanent coronary obstruction that was fairly easily treated due to the enhanced coronary access of the leaflet splitting device. Um, in all cases, the operators were able to achieve convincing splitting of the leaflets to demonstrate that they were splayed and, and that the coronary access was improved and this was documented, documented with transesophageal echocardiography. Uh, and we think that from the standpoint of safety and the intended application of the device, that it really did fulfill all of our expectations. Thanks so much for that detailed breakdown. And really this is very welcomed and exciting data to help us treat our patients in their moment of need.